Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Overdrive here, and today I'm playing The Outer Worlds. What I want to talk about today in The Outer Worlds is how to get the holographic shroud. So this video is going to first go over where to find the holographic shroud, and you're going to find the holographic shroud on your ship. You go up to your captain's quarters, and on this table, you're going to find the shroud. Once you've got the shroud, the obvious question, the question that everybody's probably coming to this video to answer is, how do you use the holographic shroud well it's actually pretty simple but because you're not going to find these things early on you probably have this question so first things first you're going to find an identity cartridge once you find an identity cartridge all you have to do is pick it up and it's automatically going to be equipped in any areas where you need that cartridge so your holographic shroud works automatically there's literally nothing you need to do no hotkeys nothing you need to do to equip it you literally just get that ID cartridge and now the shroud's going to work with that ID and it's going to automatically equip when you enter an area that requires it. So let's go into an area that requires the holographic shroud and from there I can just explain the ins and outs of the shroud and sort of how you recharge it and things like that. So we're going to just run over here. We're going to go to this elevator. Once we pull this button it's going to take us into an area where we need a board ID and that holographic shroud is going to provide that ID because we just got that ID card right upstairs. So as you can see I'm coming down. Once I enter this area me and my companions are going to don a disguise. This holographic disguise is going to be equipped and any NPCs that are wandering around are going to think that we belong in this area. Now there is a caveat to this because down in the bottom center of your screen, there's going to be a purple bar. This purple bar represents how long that shroud or that ID or that sort of cloak is going to last for. Every time you take a step, run, walk, whatever, it decays just a little bit. When you've reached sort of the limits of the shroud, you're either going to need to leave the area. So in this case, I took the elevator back up or you're going to need to answer a sort of question. Okay, so the other the other way it works is your shroud runs out, you take a step. Now the guards see that you don't belong. They're going to start asking you a few questions. These questions are going to be basically based on your persuade, intimidation, and lying skills. The higher those skills are, the farther you can get as far as guard questions go. And every time your holographic shroud fails, you're going to be asked a harder and harder question. So in this case, I was asked a question. I think it required me to be level 25, but I've gotten up to the point where it requires level 80 to start intimidating or persuading these guards to let you go. If you successfully can persuade someone to let you go and let the let the shroud sort of let the accept the holographic shroud or the holographic disguise, you're recharged and you can start all over again with that meter. Every time as long as you're in an area, those questions are going to keep getting harder and harder as far as the skill check required to pass them. At some point if you fail, you're either going to need to sort of get out of that area and just recharge everything and come back in and then your level is going to reset at zero or you're going to need to shoot your way out anyways i hope this was sort of an informative guide for you guys if you have any questions comments leave them down below otherwise i do a ton of the outer world videos so feel free to hit that subscribe button and uh, check out the next one anyways thanks for watching and until next time